Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest Roblox Studio beginner tutorial that will show you how you can make the simplest moving part. Now I'm going to show you what I already created, but I'm also going to present how I did that and what can you do to get the same effect, which is at least as far as I can understand and see as a complete beginner, one of the simplest way to do the same thing. So what do we have here? We have the same block. We have a part we can add. You can add yourself a part and we added to it a script. Now, if I go to play, we'll see the behavior of this part. As you can see, it's moving to a side, then moving back, forth, back, forth. And it's kind of doing this ping pong motion on and on the colliders are all turned on but as long as the game is running it keeps doing the same now what is the script that manages to do that i'm going to open it up now as you can see it's part of the moving moving part this is it this is the script and here it is so we have local part script parent local direction one while true part position part position equal plus vector three and these are actually the x y and z coordinates in this case if we didn't have the direction we just have the movement of one the block would kind of keep moving to the x side indefinitely however we added this these variables if part position x3 then direction minus one and if part position x minus three then direction one so it kind of goes back and forth from these three minus three and three position and we have this wait period so it's not moving immediately but if we take it down to a smaller level and we increase these so let's say it's five and five we can check out now we'll have the same movement but it's faster and the ping pong kind of movement is wider so the space that it's traversing is larger the script doesn't look that intuitive at the first moment but it's important that you kind of try to figure out what are these elements especially direction as you can see direction is important here because otherwise we could make it without all of this this part the element in the game would simply move to a side and of course we wouldn't need this in the x y and z but like i said the important element here is that vector 3 is basically as you can see x y and z components so it's again if you go to the moving part and go to the explorer or the properties of the moving part we'll see its position again in the x y and z coordinates so the script is going to be in the box below description box below so you can check it out you can add it to your level not that intuitive at the first but when it comes to roblox scripting this is probably one of the simplest elements that you can have something that you can kind of figure out itself again this is simply the wait option it can be longer shorter whatever you like so that kind of you have that element of movement if we go for example to zero point let's say three and go for play the movement will be, be a lot faster as you can see it's again traversing the same space but now in a much faster manner there you have it this is the script this is the process hopefully you found this tutorial interesting hopefully you found it useful check out the script in the description below if you want to use it experiment for yourself and hopefully it works for you as well so thanks a lot for watching my name is Ivica Please check out my other tutorials, please check out my Patreon page, please check out my channel memberships and check out my books on Amazon. But the cheapest, easiest, fastest way to support me is just to subscribe, be here for my new clips, leave a like on this one and continue watching the stuff I make. So thanks again for watching this one, this tutorial. Have loads of fun in your Fortnite, in your Roblox adventures. I'm saying Fortnite because I make a lot of Fortnite content as well. So have a lot of fun in your Roblox Studio adventures and I'll see you on my next tutorial. Until then, bye bye.